Okay, JJ says, I got hit up for a cybersecurity risk management framework engineer, long term remote W2 contract position. I have no experience with the risk management framework. I'm guessing I got hit up because of my cybersecurity experience clearance tips and tricks. Do I have any tips and tricks for this? You said I have no risk management framework. Okay, so if you ha don't have any experience in it, yeah, that's going to be... I. You know, if you want the job, I would I would talk to him about taking you on as a as somebody who's learning it. Just be honest with him and say, no, I don't have experience with this, but I do have risk. I do have cybersecurity knowledge and I have read through uh, the risk management framework 853. I've read through 837. I'm familiar with it. I've worked with with compliance officers before. I've worked with information system security officers before. I've worked with security assessors before. Whichever one of those is true for you. If none of them are true, of course, don't say that. But <laughs> if you, so the thing is, if you, if you have experience in cybersecurity, you have an advantage in that you, you know, the basic concept of, of security, which is to protect the CIA, right? Protect the confidentiality, integrity, and availability. You can just Tell them you have a very strong foundation. Explain to them that you have a very found, found strong foundation in your respective cybersecurity role. And then build from there. So if you have a solid skill set in cybersecurity, even if you're a system administrator, just what you need to do is dig into your archives of all the times you've done implementation of security features on a system. I guarantee you have a solid set of skills, right? So with those skills, you want to tell them, hey, I know how to secure systems. I know what to look for. And by the way, I know the risk management framework process. I've not done it before, but I know it. Now, if you don't know it, go learn it. You know, I have a course that you can go through, check that out. But you can add, to be honest with you, you can probably just Google it and read through the Risk Management Framework 837. I would highly recommend my course because I'm telling you exactly what you're going to see and what they're going to say to you and what they're expecting. Um, so, and I'd be willing to help you out. So just keep those kind of things in mind. Tips and tricks. Number one. Build on what you already know as a cybersecurity person. You know confidentiality, integrity, availability. You've secured systems before. More than likely you've worked with assessors and auditors before. More than likely you've worked with compliance people before. You've done documentation before. You want to highlight all of those skills that you already have and then tell them, hey, another um, tip is to learn the risk management framework process. Learn it. Buy my course. Go ahead and learn. Read through it. Uh, watch all the videos. You'll get a solid understanding of what the foundations of risk management framework are. Okay.